Desertification poses a serious challenge to the world. The pace of land degradation and the impact of climate change are threatening food security, exacerbating poverty, and impeding sustainable development. Those living in dry land ecosystems, especially rural and pastoral communities, are the most exposed to this threat. On the World Day to Combat Desertification, I would like to highlight the importance of forests and trees in arid zones and their central role in preventing desertification and contributing to food security. Indeed, forests and trees in arid zones are central to understanding the process of desertification. They provide local communities with sustainable livelihoods, but also further for livestock, fuel wood, medicine, timber, resins, and gums. They are invaluable for carbon storage and for the provision of clean water and for soil protection. More recently, their important role in climate change adaptation and mitigation has been increasingly recognized. This is why FAO is working in close collaboration with the UNCCD Secretariat and other partners to explore opportunities for raising the profile of dryland forests and trees. But beyond the important task of raising awareness, FAO is investing its experience together with the African Union Commission and the European Commission in countries of the Sahara and the Sahel. These activities, in addition to fighting sand encroachment in arid zones, are an important opportunity to reinforce successful forest management approaches and practices. FAO stands ready in close collaboration with its partner organizations, scientists and researchers, NGOs, government officials, and representatives from the African dryland countries to exchange experiences and best practices with a view to build a comprehensive plan for greater partnership and joint investments to combat desertification. I thank you for your kind attention.